Shukri was a sweet, innocent girl, you know. She was credit to everybody around her. She just made everybody happy whenever she was around. She was strong in her faith. She helped her mum out whenever she needed. Everybody around will vouch for her that how good of a girl she was. And she just put a smile on everybody's face when she was around. She was born in Somalia and uh, she came over here as a, as a refugee? As a refugee, yeah, with her mum. They've been brought over here uh, through the government to sponsor. Yeah, and they've been brought into Bury by themselves. This has been reported in the media as being a tragic accident. Yeah. Uh, and that's what the local police have said as well. Yeah. Your reaction to that? Well, the media and the police have the media have contacted the police, and the police. The only thing they've told them is that it was a tragic accident. That was, that was. I mean, that's the only thing they've said to them. So, everybody else is just taking it as that. But there's nothing behind it. All these things that we've found out, and the way the police have been dealing with us, and the schools been dealing with us, we don't believe that there was an accident. We believe there's more to the story. But we we also believe that we're not getting all the support that we need for us to be for it to be an I mean, like a proper investigation being conducted. You believe that Shukri was being bullied? We know that Shukri is being bullied. We, the school knows Shukri is being bullied. They've got records of that. The police know about that. Tell me about that bullying. Was it just name calling? Was it physical? What was it? It, went, it was name calling. It turned to physical. Mum's been to the school to report it. The mum's was even in the process of trying to change her to a new school. So. Do you know why she was being bullied? Is it because of the colour of her skin, her religion? What was it? I don't know. I don't know why she's being bullied, but... I mean, uh, Shukri is a vulnerable girl. She's a timid, scared girl. So she was probably an easy target, you know. But at the same time, she wanted to make friends. She wanted to get along with people. So that was maybe, you know, that just made her vulnerable. And people took advantage. And other people took advantage of the vulnerability. And other people have seen it. So what, what do you want from the school? We want them to be fully honest. We want to have all records of every, of the, every incident that led up to this uh, situation. And what about the police? What do you want from the police? We want the police as well to give us the full cooperation. With no blanks, with no blanks, we want the full cooperation with the police and the school to work together to, I mean, to, to, to give us a clear picture of what happened from the time they left school to the time she, I mean, they found her in the water. And the witness, some of the witness uh, were statements have not been taken properly and there's certain things the key witnesses have said that contradicts what the police have said. Obviously, the police are going to say that they're doing an investigation, but it's not what we want them to do. We want them to do a proper investigation, you know. We interview all the witnesses. We interview all the witnesses, yeah, as soon as possible. The longer they leave it, the harder it will be to get interviews, I mean, the uh, witness statements correctly. Mm. So, but, but, we, but we feel like we, they're leaving us in the dark and letting time go past. You don't feel as a family as though you're getting the respect, basically. Don't absolutely, you absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, and we haven't been dealt with properly. We've been sent officers and they were just there for minutes only and then telling us that they don't know about this and that, but really we know. And then school and the police are contradicting each other. What about the media? How do you feel they've treated the case? The media have, 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 have took interviews of us and they've only put in what they feel like they, they, they feel happened, not what we, we have actually said. The media have reported that girls, fr friend of girls was playing and then accidentally fell in the water. When they interviewed us, we said that never happened. But still, yet they insist of putting that in. We believe that if, we, if they go on this way, we will not be able to prevent another child from getting hurt if we're not getting the proper facts of what happened to our child so we can help prevent our kids getting that, going through the same situation as we are. And if we don't get the full cooperation from the police and from the school, how are we to, how are we to stop the, any other child going through the same thing? 